So this is Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. As you can see right now, I'm Mario. It's got some bizarre graphics going on because it's not a ROM hack. This is entirely original. Coded from scratch, obviously using some art assets and whatnot. Chat, um, what do you have, what do you have Gradius 3 on? Is that on PC? Look at that, you can power up your fireballs in this one. See that? Regu you can do your regular, right? <laughs> or you can do like a charge shot. Also in this one, to do the spin jump, you just hold up when you jump, so it's so much easier to pull it off. You don't have to claw a controller it. Chat's telling me that if I like 2D Sonic, Freedom Planet would be right up my alley. It's got a sequel in development as well. Chat, the physics in this are actually very, very well done. One of the best, like, uh, computer Marios I've played. I don't know how many of you played Super Mario Crossover before. That was very well done. But I always found the Mario physics just, like, a tiny bit off in it. This one, not at all. This one feels, like, nearly identical. It's a little bit different, but not far enough away that it, it hurts your ability to play it. Like, I love Super Mario Crossover, but the one character I never used was Mario, if you know what I mean. So now you saw that I, that was Mario, right? Okay, let's go into the let's go into the menu here. You see this? Player select, right? Let's see what this is. <laughs> so look, you got your that's who we just were, right? Luigi, of course, his uh, his jumping ability surpassed Mario's. His special jump is a floating jump that travels higher and farther. Luigi's fireballs travel straight but slower with less range. And his traction is somewhat so he's slipperier. So sort of like an expansion on what he was in the lost levels. <laughs> and then here we have Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm assuming he's probably going to be the slipperiest maybe. He has a variety of shields to protect him from various forms of enemy fire as well as the magnetic shield to draw in coins. Though he is fast, he has excellent inertia, stopping a turn him oh with relative ease, so I guess he is good at he's not so slippery. His power-ups are a bit lackluster compared to other characters. And then we have Tails. He doesn't match Sonic speed or traction. But he can fly for a limited amount of time though. Careful, because flying is a tiring process apparently. You won't be able to fly for an extended period of time if you're fully exhausted. Wario, he can do some sort of, he's got a speed boost and a ground pound attack thing. And look, everybody's wanted to be Waluigi since forever. He lacks the ground pound, but he's faster, and he has a dash attack. And then there's Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. Roll. 
She plays like a Mega Man character. She's got the buster and can carry robot master weapon. Slide and can't... Cannot jump on enemies, of course. But what makes her unique is her is her suit-based gameplay. Interesting. And we have Link, Simon Belmont, Proto Man, Mega Man, <laughs> Classic Mario, and Classic Luigi. Vile. Is this Vile from Mega Man? Do you think, Chad? Must be, right? Okay, so <laughs> let's just try let's just try Sonic next. <laughs> Chat says, "Oh man, this has a lot of characters, right?" <laughs> okay. That was just, I was just trying to see what that button did. Now I know. I get it. <laughs> you gotta be careful because it gets a little bounce if you land on top of things with that. Oh, okay, one of the shields. Sonic's hard to use down here. We need a slower character for for in the uh, cave. Let's go with uh, Link for down there. He sounds more sensible for... Look at this. There we go. He's got a little stabby stab. Little, little stab stab. Now let's see, what does he get for... Oh, there, there we go, Chad. Chad asks if the levels keep as Mario franchises or does it dip into other franchises? That's a fantastic question that I'm hoping to answer. I mean, if I have not played much of this. So, if this continues to be fun to play, then I'll probably keep coming back to this over multiple streams. I guess I can run up here. Like, yeah, I'd love to come back to this. <laughs> see how big it actually is the world looks quite expansive from what I saw and if it dips into other franchises that would be quite interesting it's sort of like a, it sort of reminds me of almost like I guess a 16-bit successor to Super Mario Brothers crossover in a way only with more original levels Yeah, the HUD is tracking currency for multiple franchises, chat just pointed out. I, I've, I notice I've been picking up rupees and coins. Okay. Let's do the roulette. Oh wow, this works totally different. That, that tripped me right out. Link's the man for taking these guys out, I guess. Oh, oh, one up, nice. Okay, well let's, let's... Should I give Sonic another shot? Why not? Let's see if he gets a power up here. Okay, I got a shield to start off the next round with. That should be good. So we got Mushroom Homes. It's almost like the world is a lot like Mario 3. Ah. 
so close to getting something. The music is actually- oh my goodness, did you see that? A poison. Okay, I just got rings. Did that For anybody watching, did those rings just give me coins? Is that what happened there? Yes, right? Oh my goodness. Those plant guys are trouble for uh, Sonic. That was close, chat. <laughs> Sonic's... Sonic's crazy. Oh! Yeah, so the coins, just like... Just like real Sonic, the coins are what keeps you alive at Sonic. Okay, we got a Boo Mansion up next. Let's go with uh, Wario. So those guys were from Super Mario Land 2, I think. I'm gonna be doing that game soon. Trip me up when I picked up that uh, that P P switch thing. Oh my goodness, his uh, dash is very hard to get used to in this one. It doesn't work like doesn't work quite like his dash in the game that I'm used to. I'm gonna give Wario one more shot here. <laughs> I do like Wario. Now I wonder if I get to 75 of those rupees, if that will give me a 1-up or what? Oops. Yeah, those guys are from... Okay, take this with me to here. Those guys are from Mario Land 2, I believe. <laughs> Chad's Snooper Mario Land 2, the six green joints. Hmm. Please, please send that game my way. Oh, look at this, chat. Look at this. The gameplay in this is impressive, but now I have 100 rupees and they did not give me a free man. Goodbye, ghost guy. Oh my god. Wario's dash. I better go for a different character before I die. Arthur is a fragile character with low health, terrible knockback, and can't stomp in enemies. However, he can double jump and is quite nimble in the air. Infinite use long range weapons. Okay. 
Let's try Arthur. He sounds like he might be a good fit for this. So he can double jump, right? Okay. might be the better choice. I guess I can't kill those ghosts. Of course not. Like, I've played Mario before. Come on. <laughs> can Arthur pick up this, though? Yes, he can. This is so bizarre looking. Look at how wacky this all looks. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. <laughs> Those doors are a hazard. They're put there just to fuck with you, literally. Ouch! <laughs> you motherfucker, god damn it. One more time is Arthur. Oh, I keep my weapons apparently? Oh, yes, give me the sword. Nice, the sword kills the ghosts. That's awesome. So, moral of the story is, you want the sword when you're Arthur. Look at that. <laughs> the sword gets it done. This is the trade-off to Arthur being squishy, as Chad mentioned. Oh, I didn't even need that. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm getting cocky now. That's a recipe for disaster. Okay. Now we're now I'm getting somewhere. Look at that. It's nice, nice now that I have this sword. Chat says this game gives you a lot of options of how you want to play it. It's pretty cool. I agree. There's the the thing that I'm amazed by is how different each of the characters are. Like, yeah. It, they're really a whole different way of playing each level. It's quite interesting. Well done. Definitely a game that we're going to be revisiting on this channel. So I've tried the blue one. Let's try the one with no gem. Do I, do I have a time limit in here or no? I guess it doesn't look like it. Okay, so. Tried the blue gem, so I feel like it's gotta be this one then. Okay. Oh, is it always the coin, I wonder? Let's see what this says. Oh, here we go. The path reminder here is the color of grass. So, this one, right? There we go. 
I should have read the hint all along, Chad. Lesson from my youth. Chad says it looks like I have the ability to swap between the sword and the axe. Yes, I, I definitely do. When I see a different item drop, I'm going to try and swap it out. Oh! Terrible. I can't believe I fell there. Do I keep my sword? Okay, one last try in this mansion for crying out loud. Okay, oh, that's the axe again. Yeah, I want to switch the axe for a different weapon here. That's my plan. <laughs> Just laughing at my pain. I'm, I'm so curious about what I can do with these rupees, chat. Like, is, is there going to be a Zelda-type store coming up? That's the only thing I can really think of. I don't even need this. Okay. I know the first one just from trial and error instead of reading the hint like it probably wanted me to do. Right? Like this probably just says the color of bananas, yeah. Hello comrade duck, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Oh, did you see that move? Okay, I just gotta be careful on this thing. I'm assuming that's what the key was for. Oh my god. Look at that. That boo is like nightmare fuel. Look at its eyes. <laughs> no. Bad. <laughs> Get back. Oh, what did that do for me? Oh, I see what it did. So I think what I'm noticing is those yellow ones are not timed. That's like when I hit those yellow P switches, that's like a permanent thing. Are you kidding me? What was that? How long am I going to be streaming chat? Um, I would say probably at least another couple of hours. <laughs> I, I still have some more things of mine. I'm going to switch games here in a minute. I only got one life left here. Is this random? What's going on with this? I can't tell if this thing is going into pattern or not. It's freaking me out. I'm getting out of here. Oh, now there's a halfway point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I can, I can throw up. See, I'm used to Earth for being so stiff. Oh, there, I got my armor back, too. That's nice. I guess I don't want to waste too many on the little ghosts. Nice. Chat, the, the ghost host in this is an event. All right, comrade. Have a good sleep, and I appreciate that very much. 
Look at this chat. We got a shop. This this probably takes rupees, right? Random power up. Look at this. <laughs> beat. It's beat from Mega Man chat. Anti knockback. What's this? Vile and zero. Bonus characters make the game easier for those that find it too difficult. The reserve tank. I can't even quite afford that. Oh, this is armor though. Wow. Oh, the dagger. The dagger is a good weapon. Chad uh, asks, says they have uh, questions for me of a political nature. If that's okay, that's definitely okay. I must have already got that. Or maybe because I'm Arthur, I can't. You can always ask me political questions, chat. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> now I have two swords. <laughs> So now, now I see you want to like collect the rupees almost more than you want to collect the coins. I mean, one-ups are important, but did you see those power-ups? Oh no, I, I turned into a bottle of bones. <laughs> a bottle of bones, a pile of bones. Okay, one more shot before switching games. I got the one more life here. Definitely we are coming back to this in another stream though. This is this is pretty cool. There's how we switch. I want I wanna keep my sword in case that other thing didn't kill the dry bones. Oh, Just, just as I said that. Oh, what's this? You get the zero life? Well, we might as well go till game over. I guess that makes sense, right? I'm not making excuses, I swear. This thing. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness, that thing always. I, that thing went a little bit lower than I expected, and it killed me good. 